All new at five here, detention deputies behaving badly. Pinellas County Jail deputies suspended after a seven-month-long internal investigation found they bullied and humiliated inmates. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales tonight uncovering the details in a story you will only see here on ABC Action News. I got a hold of these suspension letters. We found out inmates here were forced to hold positions against a wall. Deputies taping derogatory signs on their backs. And also within the last hour, we found out two out of the four deputies involved are connected to a much more serious case caught on camera. January 8th, a detention deputy is fired after she's seen on video slamming an inmate to the ground, breaking her arm. Three days later, Deputy James Moran orders an inmate to do push-ups and kicks him after the inmate tossed a cookie to a bird. Another deputy, Matthew O'Neill, also involved. But now ABC Action News is uncovering another unreported incident happening just two days after that. Four deputies accused of bullying inmates, and it turns out two of them were deputies O'Neill and Moran from the push-up incident. What's most disturbing is the fact that when you have multiple events taking place in uh, relatively close uh, time periods. Ralph Fernandez has seen it from both sides. He's represented fired correctional officers and inmates. These things are not isolated events. One of the deputies in this latest case we uncovered spotlighted in this Meet the Stars video created by PCSO. When you work in the jail, you're definitely exposed to the bad in the world. But William and I feel that every inmate deserves to be treated with the decency as a human being. According to the suspension letters, deputies Willie Jordan Jr., Kenneth Rowe, plus Moran and O'Neill from the push-up incident either ordered or allowed two inmates to place their foreheads along a glass wall for 11 minutes. In that time, deputies taped derogatory messages to their backs and ordered other inmates to read them aloud. We found out PCSO was unaware this happened while investigating the other incident. Moran would ultimately be fired and O'Neill resigned under investigation. Coming up at six, I'll tell you what those deputies told investigators when confronted. In Pinellas County, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.